It's summertime! Which means armpit hair's gotta go. I'm gonna pee my pants! Yeah! Watch where you're going! Betty? Where's your eyebrow? I accidentally shaved it off?! It was a total accident, okay? Just put the razor down, Betty! Please? Stop! What? Can't you see this hideousness? Let me think for a second. This spoon has the perfect curve. I can totally shape an eyebrow. I'm just following the line, see? Then I just have to fill it all in. This is totally working. You'd never even know it was gone. Take a look for yourself. Let me see. You just may be a makeup genius, Lily. Man, that was a close one. Ow! Who left a sharp bobby pin on the couch like this? Ooh, that had to hurt. Ooh! Something just stabbed me right in the foot! I see you, you little sucker. Ow! Okay, I have a few short minutes to get myself together before class. Oh, can't forget these! Oh, I could use a little makeup touch-up. These lashes need some help. Let's see if my mascara's in here. Hmm, where is it? Yikes! Another evil bobby pin strikes again! Are these things conspiring against me or something? If you're a girl, there's no doubt you understand the plight of stray bobby pins. Seriously, empty any purse or backpack and you're likely to find an arsenal of bobby pins you'd completely forgotten about. See? Case in point. If only there was a way to keep them all together instead of just throwing them around everywhere. Oh, I forgot I had Tic Tacs. Wait a minute. I think I have a solution to my bobby pin debacle. Before you throw away an old mint dispenser like this one, consider repurposing it into a pin holder. Simply put those bad boys in there and you're all set. You can even bedazzle it while you're at it. Why not? Now whenever you need a quick pin, it'll be in here, not in the sole of your foot. Super cute, Lana. Okay, now I really need to get to class. But not without this handy little guy. Ain't she gorgeous? Ugh, finally I can stop and have a quick snack. I'm famished! Let's see, I don't want pepper or salt. Ooh, spicy dressing, that'll work! Ah, right, here we go! Come on, get out of there! There's gotta be a little left. I only need a few drops! Maybe if I screw the cap off I can scrounge up a little, but… No! There's one last drop and it ends up on my white t-shirt? Really? Um, this room's occupied? This is a sane emergency, Lana! Maybe it'll come out with water? Oh, that didn't work. Yikes. Lana, what do I do? Shaving cream? It's worth a try, right? Next time you're faced with a dressing mishap, just put a big glob of shaving cream on it. Make sure to rub it into all the stain. Next, place it under a running faucet and rinse off the excess shaving cream. Be sure to rub out the stain firmly with your hands once the cream is off. Wow, it's actually working, see? If you need it to dry faster, run a blow dryer over it for a few minutes. Wow, Lily, if removing stains was a superpower, you'd be every girl's hero! Here's your shaving cream. My job is done here. Come on, just two more points! You in, honey? You even there? Hello? I see you. Why won't he talk to me? What are you doing, Lily? Fine. I'll demand your attention then. Don't touch the hair! You and that hair. My hair ties. Time to take control. I didn't even pause the game! I can't move my arms, Lily. Now that I have your undivided attention, I thought I'd give you a new do. Take some hair and twist it tight. It should naturally curl down like this. 
Then secure it. Now move on to another section of hair. Secure it the same way. Now get a good layer of hairspray on there. And after it sits for a minute, start taking the elastics out. Okay, last one. Oh, it looks awesome. Aren't you so happy you have me? How'd you get so much volume? Let me take a pic for Insta. Bella's still not here, huh? Oh, that's good stuff. She's gotta be close, right? Ten more minutes? Okay, I'm just digging in. Oh, yeah. So, what do you think? This is the pic that inspired it. It took two hours to straighten it. And she was like, your hair is thick. But it turned out cute, right? Something's not right here. Oh god. It's a giant hair! <laughs> That's not from my head, is it? I'm gonna be sick. It's everywhere! You just had to swing that stuff around? Do you know how gross this is? It was an accident. Yeah! I'm sorry, okay? There's only one thing left to do. Put that hair up in a pony. What do you think I was gonna say? With a flip, this hair will be out of the way. Then flip it back around and pull it tight. And the rest gets tucked in here. Cute, right? It looks even better now. Now we just have to order another salad. Yikes! Is this thing alive or something? One more second and it would've bitten me. <sighs> I just love movie night with the girls. And you brought out the good snacks? Nice! Vicky? Whoa! Since when did Vicky get tatted up? So, girls, like my new look? I'm guessing you didn't discuss your new tattoos with the girls yet? No offense, but you guys are way too gullible. Love tattoos but aren't sure you'll love them forever? Then why not make your own temporary ones? Cut out a print of a design you love. Don't worry about getting it right along the edges. Now spray the front of the print with perfume. Next, fill a small bowl with water. Place the print face up in the bowl. Now wait for about two minutes. It's time! Wherever you choose to place the tattoo, spray it with perfume. Place the print face down on that exact same spot. Spray the top of the paper just one more time. Make sure it's completely pressed against your skin. After a minute, go ahead and lift the paper, revealing your brand new tat. Pretty cool, right? Oh man, that really does look real! Sophia? Sophia? You okay? Hey, you passed out. Huh? What happened? We all got tattoos! You did too, see? <gasps> what? Please tell me this isn't permanent! Don't sweat it, Sophia. You can totally take that ugly thing off. A little micellar water will rub that guy right off. Really? Oh, thank goodness. See, it's all good. That was a close one. The Mississippi River starts as a small flow in the beautiful state of Minnesota. Oh, I'm so late! Hopefully no one will notice. Ava? You're late! Take your seat. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Back to how you can walk across the source of the Mississippi River. You look like you got in a fist fight with a rooster. Hi, Madison. Uh… Hi, Ava. Poor girl. She needs some help. Ava? 
This is for you. <gasps> oh no! I look like a gorilla! Okay. Uh, fixing my hair will make it better. No. Still the same. Maybe no one will notice your face. Wait. I can help her. Ava! Look what I have. We have powders. We have sparkles. We have glitter. Even foundation! I'm your makeup fairy godmother! I just started with a pencil organizer. A piece of cardboard helps hide it in the drawer. Now it's time to pour in my favorite foundation. This drawer can hold a lot. It fills the space perfectly. Can't forget some red for the lips. Dividers for glitter and sparkles in the next drawers. Concealers in the top. Time for accessories! This can go here. Lip glosses in this space. Makeup brushes will fit too. Now to disguise it all. Colored pencils will hide all my makeup. Madison! You are a lifesaver! Time to start applying. Definitely need concealer. Foundation. Time to fix up my lips. Can't forget my eyes. Finishing touches! Oh, no more gorilla face for me! Thank you so much, Madison! Of course! Girls! Oh, hey guys, what's up? Aw, you're gonna leave Olivia hanging? Well, that was awkward. Hey, remember me? I'm here too! Gah. That's gonna leave a bruise. Finally, Olivia's able to get a word in. Aw, oh, how nice! Emily got everyone coffee. Well, almost everyone. Just face it, Olivia, you're the third wheel. And it's only gonna get more awkward from here. Nothing beats texting the bestie first thing in the morning. Especially when it's to let them know how your hot date went the night before. It really was a dreamy night, wasn't it? Wait a sec. Did I accidentally send the text to my mother? This is so awkward. Oh god. Maybe if I think hard enough I can rewind time. Come on, turn back time! Turn back time! On a day like this, nothing can ruin a beautiful walk in the park. Well, there is one thing. You've gotta be kidding me! I gotta go, Em. Wait for me! Oh, man. What? The exam moved to 12? Oh, man, I'm gonna be so late! Better grab your stuff and go, Sophia. Kinda need these. Cute shoes, but are you sure you can run to class in those? Almost there! Almost there! Sophia, your shoe! Huh? Hey, Cinderella, is this yours? Oh, yeah. Must have lost it on my way down. Oh, thanks a bunch! If you have heels that keep slipping off, try fashioning an attached ankle bracelet. Put a dab of hot glue on the edge of the ribbon and fold it closed around the bracelet. Perfect. Now add some hot glue to the back of your heeled shoe, like so. Stick that same ribbon onto the shoe. See? Now you can be sure your heels will never slip off again. Not only is this hack practical, but it's super cute! Getting dressed can sometimes feel like a puzzle. Especially when you're tiny, like Sophia. Ugh, this shirt is just too big. I could make a whole second shirt out of all this fabric. What if I just wear the whole thing out like this? Nope, it's no use. Oh, look at that pretty scarf Amy's wearing. I'm sure she'd let me borrow it, right? Sorry, Amy. I'm just gonna grab this thing for a sec. Hey! Was that really necessary, Sophia? Next time you're fussing with a shirt that's too long, try sporting a cute little front knot. Tie the scarf around the knot any way you like. You can put a little bow on it if you'd like. 
Next, tuck the knot under the shirt so that all you can see is the cute scarf peeking out. Someone's looking fabulous! Sometimes, spending a Friday night reading a good book is much needed. Huh, I wonder who that could be. Hey Vicky, you ready to go? Uh, why aren't you in your costume yet? Oh yeah, the superhero party's tonight. I completely forgot. Okay, just give me five minutes, I'll be right back. Oh man, what can I turn into a superhero costume in five minutes? That won't work, that won't work. Hey, I think I can do something with this. Hmm… Oh, I know what I'll do! If you're in a DIY costume jam, a computer printout is your best friend. Hey, I think I know what you're going for, Vicky. Take your shirt and lay it flat, then cut out your print very carefully. It's important to make sure none of the white paper is left on there. There you go! Take a sheet of plastic wrap and lay it over the spot you want your print to go. Next, place the print on top so that its back is touching the plastic. Now cover the front of the print with another sheet of plastic wrap. Next, take some wax paper and lay it right on top of the cutout. Once it's placed where you want it, take a hot iron to it for a couple of minutes. Make sure to keep it moving, don't just sit it on top. Remove the wax paper, and boom! You've got yourself a brand new Superman outfit! Check it out! You look amazing, Vec! Oh shoot, you still need a cape! This'll do! Boys and girls, have no fear! The DIY costume queen Vicky is here! And she is ready to party! Whoa! Did you just come up with that in five minutes? Superman's unite! Have fun, guys! Hey, Lana! Having some trouble there? Okay, are these trick laces or something? Why can't I tie these darn things? Whoa, that's one crazy knot you have there. Who taught you how to tie your shoes? Oops, better tie mine too. Whoa, look at that fancy finger work! Can you show us how it's done, Vicky? Simply take the strings in your pinkies, twist them around your pointer and thumb, pull, and bam! You're done! See, that's the thing about fashion hacks. Don't worry, Lana, we've got a whole bunch of new DIY tricks coming right at ya! Sophia, look! Really, Amy? Ooh, sorry. Here, try this. Was that supposed to make it better? When in doubt, you can always rely on beauty hacks to make things better again. Whoa, how'd you do that, Amy? Get your eyeliner and… ready! Aw, Brian's such a little cutie! He wants to go on a date wow. tomorrow? Yes! Sophia! What? I'm going on a date with Brian! Yes, I am! Nope. You don't believe me? What are you talking about? Oh no! Anything but a big pimple! Sorry, girl. <laughs> You're still pretty, don't worry. <sighs> I wish I could help. But maybe I can. Try using this garlic clove. What? Put it right on the blemish. The juices take down the inflammation. In the morning, that thing will be toast. Ah, that was some good sleep. I think it's gone! Sophia! Ah, look who woke up sit free! Wow! What a simple trick! You'd better get ready! Just call me the pimple whisperer. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight… Finally done brushing. And now it's curling time! Gotta prep while it heats up. Here we go! That should do it. Or not. Let's leave it longer this time. And… Oh, come on! 
This thing isn't even hot. I give up. Uh-oh. Sophia! My hair! Sorry! It was an accident, I swear! But look at this perfect curl! You mind doing the rest, too? Not sure if it'll work again. Wow! This is incredible! Why mess with a curling iron ever again? Looks like I just came from the salon! Thanks! Now I just need somewhere to go. It's finally time for bed. Time to take off that bold lip. Um, what's happening? No offense, Helly, but you look like a clown. Don't stress. All hope's not lost. Snag a hunk of Vaseline and rub it on your lips. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Whoa there. Now wipe it all off with a cotton swab. Ah, <sighs> that's much better. Nighty-night! Looking to master the perfect winged eye? Following alongside tape can work if you want a free, painful wax from marked strings to awkward spoons. Oh, yikes. Instead, try cutting the sides of a foam applicator. Dip it right into a smudge pot. Slide it across your entire eyelid in one swift move. You've mastered the perfect winged cat eye. Meow. All right, Vicky, we get it. You've got the flirty eyes down. Now go use it on someone special. Just gotta finish this assignment, then it's lunch! Whoa! Henny's looking so good! Wow, Henny, your hair's so curly! Thanks, just wanted to try something new. Oh, Annie's hair is spectacular! Annie, that is a great look for you! Oh, stop. Now you're just being a flirt. My hair is just boring and straight, as usual. Hey, I think this pen could help me change that. I'll just wrap my hair around and wait a moment. Ta-da! Oh, I guess it didn't work after all. Now I'm bummed out all over again. Oh, we'd better get back to studying. Okay, just trying to take notes. Shoot, my pen isn't working. I'll blow on it. That'll fix it. Oh. Hey, do you have a pen I can borrow? Uh, sorry, this is the only one I have. Ava, do you have a pen I can borrow? Oh, you look so sad. I'm bummed out by my boring hair. Oh, is that all? I can help you get curls. Look, first we'll just take a section of your hair. I'll use two fingers and wrap your hair around them. Then I'll pull the end through. Next, I'll just tug it down into place so it's tight. Ooh! That seems so easy! I can't wait to see the curls! Stop! Don't pull it out yet! You need to wait at least one minute. Okay, I'm gonna count down the time. Okay, now unravel it! Wow! I can't believe how curly it is! Now I can have a whole head of curly hair! 
Ava, it looks so good on you! Thanks, Annie! Couldn't have done it without you! Anytime, Ava! Now, time to get back to flirting. Wait, where did he go? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! That just figures. She wouldn't even have that hair without me. Just a quick touch-up. Oh, it's David! Huh? Where's Ava going? David, you were so smart in algebra today! Oh, thanks, Ava! Oh, why can't that be me? <gasps> it's not coming off! And it's in my hair! Uh, lipstick! This is all your fault! Wait a second… I might have a genius idea! Why pay for an expensive salon visit? Can't forget the other side! Just finishing this last bit! And done! Perfect! Now for a quick comb through. Gotta make sure I get through all of it. Done! Now I'm ready to talk to David! Whoa! That's right! I look great! Wow! Talk to you later, Ava. Wait! Oh. Why is my hair so boring? Kiss me, Madison. Mm. <gasps> Whoa! What happened? And that's how I managed to save the game! Oh, I was imagining it. Well, at least my hair's still cute. This new product is the best! Oh, a customer! Time to get to work! Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Ah, yes. A good choice. I can definitely give you that cut. Let me just put this cape on you. And now we're ready. You're in the hands of an artiste. A little off the top, a small trim right here, and just a touch more here. Voila! My masterpiece is complete! You like it, yes? That will be 50 cents. Here you go. You did excellent work! Thank you. I know. I'll get this cape off of you. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Goodbye! I'm ready for the next customer! And what can I do for you today? Just a trim, perhaps? Not today. I'm looking for a change. Let's cut a bunch of it off. I want to look trendy and hip. No problem. A little snip here, and a touch up over there, and done! Mwah! You look amazing! Um… What? This is the same as it was before. It is literally the exact same length. You look like a brand new person! Let's get this cape off of you. Whoa! It looks even better! Time to settle up! Here's your payment! Ah, uh, no. This isn't enough for such a work of art. What are you still doing here? Don't you have somewhere to be? Shoo! I'm so good at my job. <sighs> Those were some good dreams. Even my skin feels well rested. Hey. It's the last day of my clean eating routine! Let's see if all that hard work paid off. I feel lighter already. Here comes the moment of truth. Come on! No way! That's even less than my goal weight! I bet I'd fit into those skinny jeans. I haven't worn these for years now. Oh yeah, these should fit. They feel great! My friends are gonna be so jealous. Ah! You could fit two of me in here. Should I throw them away? Or turn them into something new? Pull down the front area like this. And tear the seam above the back waist area. Now put elastic between two attached chopsticks. This will pull it through to the other side. See? Trade the chopsticks out for a needle and thread. This 
way you can secure the elastic at the waist. Be sure to cut the hanging excess fabric. Nice! Now these jeans fit like a glove. Tailor made just for me. <gasps> Yikes! When it comes to putting clothes away, there are two kinds of people. Those who keep organized, and those who are like Lana. Ooh, this has gotten bad. But what's one more measly old shirt? There, problem solved. I gotta take a break from all this cleaning. Finally, my last piece of laundry is done. Gah! Run for cover! I almost got buried alive in this stuff! Why is nothing hung up properly? Ah, oh, man, look at all this! Jeans take forever to hang up. But perhaps there's a way around that. I know! Crease the leg, then roll them all the way down to the bottom. Use the extended pant leg to cover the roll. Pull it so it looks like a little denim burrito. Now all you have to do is stack them. And I didn't even have to touch one hanger. Staying organized sure feels satisfying. Indulging in a little manny time, are we? Wow, a French tip? Impressive. Well, that is until you look close up. Oh man, how am I supposed to fix this? Hey, I walked all the way here and got blisters. Do you have any band-aids in here? Perfect. Oh no, I made it worse. I'm so bad at this. Hey, give me that band-aid. If you're giving yourself a manicure, try using a band-aid to keep your line straight. For a French tip, place the band-aid like this. Go ahead and paint right on the nail and band-aid. Yep, it's that easy. Why torture yourself when you can just use a band-aid sheet? Here, I brought you some tea. Check out my new sick mani. That looks great! Maybe you can do mine next time.